How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzz. What's going on, people? Okay, piggybacking off of yesterday is reference to me going downtown, standing in my truth as far as being different, and we're talking about the Newark who's looking for a transgender woman who was brutally beat, and this happened around June the 29th, 2017, and the reason why people didn't help her to assist her because they felt as though she was not a woman, she was a man. So I did this thing, looked it up and stuff, and it was like, stop telling women to smile. And I'm trying to figure out why was this woman attacked. And that was by artist is Tatiana. And remember back when um, Isla Nettles, she was 21 years old and she died in August 2013. A young, a young man had cat called her and found that she was trans and humiliated her and beat her in front of police station and left her brutally dead. This accuser has been released on bail, but basically he's locked up and now he's court and everything is, you know, he's, um, I believe he's got life in prison. Now, she was a very beautiful girl and this reference to cat calling and stuff and he called her and basically she didn't answer or respond the way he wanted to and he felt as though he was threatened. So he killed her and stuff. And, you know, I wanted to do a video of reference to these beautiful women that has been murdered on the street as far as being catcalled. Now, one thing people don't understand, when you smile at a guy, that makes him think that you want him. Now, a lot of cases and stuff like that, which is like C.C. McDonald. The guy attacked her and stuff, and she was defending herself back into June the 5th, 2011. And when she defended herself, she was stabbed as well, and she ended up killing the guy. So instead of them trying to find out what happened to her, they locked her up. They put her inside of jail, and we had to fight to try to get her out of prison. You know, in reference to her being locked up, her defending herself, it was almost like they were saying, you were supposed to die. How dare you defend yourself as, as far as being attacked? But we got success, and we got... um. C. Sick McDonald out, and of course, with Laverne Cox, she also helped, you know, as far as trying to assist using her platform as far as media to get even more attention because of her um, celebrity ability and stuff. And she helped as far as that as well to get the message out. And now C. C. Um, McDonald was out and stuff, and I'm sure she's much more happy. And she became advocate as far as, you know, helping the transgenders and let people know the visibility and what we're going through. And this is why I'm doing the story of stop telling women to smile. Now, this took place in reference to it. Um, this is a female and stuff. And she's talking about in reference to a public art project addressing gender-based street harassment in a big way. Now, she's talking about all women um cis women as well as trans women most people who spend time in the majority city cities are familiar with the uninvited cat call whether you have been a uh, target or you've watched the event unfold many of us have heard individuals on another solicit bass part bass um pass buyer most often a woman to give them a little smile or cheer up baby you know basically trying to um make her smile and stuff we know that a lot of times when you smile at a man, that usually means that you like him and that means he's going to walk back to you. Now, when he's walking back to you as far as a trans woman, this could be a very bad situation, even as far as cis women and stuff. Because I talked about videos in reference to cis women who have um, boyfriends and in relationships and stuff and they were murdered because they did not speak back. Okay, while some may combat the unsolicited attention with a cold stare, Brooklyn-based artist Tatiana has an alternate way to addressing the problem in a project titled Stop Telling Women to Style. Now, Tatiana places portraits of women in public places, encouraging women um, as far as victims of gender-based street harassment to fight back. The series began last year in reference to Tatiana was first um, finishing a mutual project in Philadelphia, she was contemplating on how to address the issue of street harassment for some time, having experienced years of daily occurring herself as and considering a media of oil paintings. Her primary project, she eventually decided to channel her ideas into public art. Now, Tatiana recruited friends and colleagues to help make the STW. T.S. a reality during a 
subject of strong, even confrontational approaches that are meant to humanize the faces of hum women in the public spaces. The project are accompanied by lines of texture that speak to harassers and offenders who aren't often called out. My name is not baby. One caption read, women are not seeking validations. Another um had said, I asked friends if they would like to participate in the project. And all of them um, in reference to having street harassments are consistent of issues of lies as agreed. And we're happy to be a part of it. Now, Tatiana explained that the Holzman Post, the most of them had sat down with the conversation about the experiences and what it would be like for this say back to the harassers. I use this conversation as inspiration as far as um, a text underneath their portraits and stuff and Tatiana project posted of drawing in Philadelphia and Brooklyn but once created that Kickstarter campaign to help fund broader endeavors. She wants to travel as far as Baltimore, Boston, Atlanta, um, San Francisco, Miami, Kansas City, and as far as Atlanta and Chicago to meet the drawing women as far as the rest of the country using sites as far as Hollaback at StopStreetHarassment.org to help um, navigate these various um, communities. This far is um, primary focus on experiences of women, but often to it um, explain that the project to men who have encountered street harassment based on gender or sexual orientation as well. As the work gains attention, I realize that how many different types of people can relate to this ad, have stories to tell, and I've had conversation with men at um, um, STW TS related um, events who wanted to talk about their experiences with the street harassment. Tatiana and Connor, I know it happens and it is important and it's something I may take on as the future right now through I have wanted to focus on women of various backgrounds to really tackle the way that we are treated as far as our body and being sexualized and mistreated as far as being in public. Now the Kickstarter campaign has started 26 days of course raising $15,000 talk to you on the scene according to the site. A portion of the funds we um, um, located to the working of the filmmaker that the document of the forest the project so as um these individuals um, who might not be aware of the gender-based street harassment is a problem, Tatiana had this following to say, there are always those who want to tell a woman their experience are not validated or not important whenever they speak up for them. As a Black woman, this is particularly true. Wanting the base, the basic right of um, feeling comfortable and safe is not sexualizing as I walk out of my house. It is very important and very much worth prior prioritizing. There also the point that gender-based sexual um, street harassment, especially less to more um, suspicious issues as far as rape, domestic violence, she added, and also in the matter of the control of women's body as an issue as far as it's being addressed. And of course, you know, the um, posters and everything of people that basically, you know, put it out, um, you know, um, letting them know that they were being harassed and stuff as far as, you know, um, being who they are and as far as your bodies and stuff and men, you know, stopping you in the street telling you, you know, smile, smile, smile. And as far as the trans woman and stuff, you know, a lot of times we get a chance to smile and then we're just having a little conversation with him. And not all the times, but in some cases he may pick on that we are trans and what he'll do is react and sometimes in a negative way. Now, remember the man stopped us on the streets and he's bothering us. Us. And then at the end of the day, we end up being murdered for him stopping us on our way. So a lot of times, like I always tell you, my sisters and my trans brothers, be safe out there because everybody who smiles in your face is not your friend. And I've always said this to you. And I thought it was a very important message to put out here as far as this Sunday. July the 23rd, 2017, that a lot of us women, as far as cis women and trans women, we have relatable issues. And I always want us to realize that everything else cis women go through, 
So before you walk out that door, as far as, you know, worn out into public and stuff where anything can happen, you are now on the other side of the coin. So I always want you to be safe and I always want you to dress accordingly in reference to protection as far as someone that may come across that you may not know or someone that may come up to your face that you may not know. And remember, everything you have on can also be used against you as well as your hair, as reference to jewelry, as reference to shoes. So make sure you always keep this in mind when you walk outside the door that you have to be prepared for the unexpected unless you're around a bunch of friends where you feel like you're safe and stuff and I wanted to share this with you and stuff you know I know you want to be beautiful I know you want to be standing in your truth but I want you to stand in your truth and I also want you to be safe and remember one thing it is not a trans issue it is every woman's issue and I love to hear feedback on this and I'll let you know I love you and I want to thank you for watching catch the rave